To set up my home folders, the first thing we're going to do is on a volume that's got a reasonable amount of room, I'm going to create a folder. I'm simply going to call that home. And if I opened up the properties of that folder, sharing tab, advanced sharing. I'm going to tick the box to share the folder and I'm going to put a dollar symbol on the end of it so that it will be a hidden share. Maybe when you browse the network on Network Neighbourhood you won't see it. Permissions and grant everyone allow full control. Apply. OK. Apply. OK. Now we're going to lock the permissions down with the security tab with NDFS permissions. Advanced, change permissions, untick the box to include inheritable permissions and select add. Now the permissions as they stand are as follows. Create a owner. If we edit that, you'll see that these permissions apply to subfolders and files only, and there is full control. That's fine. System. Applies to this folder, subfolders and files. And it's been granted full control. That's fine, we don't need to change anything. And the administrators applies to this folder, subfolder, and files also, and they've also got full control, which is fine. Now I'm going to remove the bottom two entries there for users and I'm going to add in the everyone group I'm going to change the apply to so that it just reads this folder only and we're going to grant the following permissions create folders and append data list folder and read data read attributes and finally traverse folder and execute file Apply OK. OK. And close. Now to actually give a home drive to your users within that folder, you need to open Active Directory Users and Computers or simply run dsa.msc, which will open Active Directory Users and Computers. Locate the users that you want to. Um, point at your home folder. Now I'm going to select them all. There's a thousand users in it. I'm just going to select them all with a Windows key plus uh, control plus here. And on the profile I'm going to tick home folder and I'm going to connect H to the path that I've created and you'll notice on the end I've written percent username percent that's a variable that will automatically fill in each user's name as it creates the folder apply okay so that will point each of the users home folders to a folder within your root folder that will have the same name as the username. Now to set up your roaming profiles I'm going to create another folder called profiles 
and the share permissions for this are going to be identical to the ones that we set up for home. Again I'm going to put a dollar on the end of the share name so it'll be a hidden share and again I'm going to grant everyone full control share permissions. And then once again apply OK we are going to lock the permissions down with NTFS. Advanced change permissions again untick the include inheritable and select add. Now we know the top three have got the correct permission so I'm just going to remove the bottom ones that we don't need and add in the everyone group as you can see my admins system full control and create a runner subfile so doesn't files only is also a full control So I just need to add in the everyone group. And remember you need to change the apply to to this folder only. And you need to grant create folders and append data. This folder and read data. Read attributes and traverse folder and execute file. OK, apply OK. And close. Now to actually allocate those C users, once again I'm going to use I'm going to run Active Directory users and computers. And I'm going to select all my users, open up their properties and on the profile tab I'm going to take the profile path and paste in the path to the profiles folder that I created earlier. And once again look I'm using the um, username variable on the end so it will automatically put the correct value in for each user it updates. So if I log on as one of those users onto our client machine, we can see that I've now got a H drive mapped in which I've got permissions to put whatever whatsoever I wish. So I've got my home drive. And also, because I logged on and off onto the network, my profile would have been created and written back up to the server. So if I jump on the server and open Profiles, you see it creates all the home folders straight away. But And there's my document that I created. However, for profiles, it only creates them as they're needed. You'll notice this one's got a V2 on the end of it. That's because it was created with Windows 7. Anything newer than uh, Windows Vista will create a profile with a V2 on the end of it. So if you've got Windows XP clients, you won't see that appended on at the end. So there's the profile for user number one. And that's it. Those done and finished. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.petnetlife.com.